Hey everyone, Luis here and in this video I'll show you how you can basically scrape anything you want using Claude. Directly on Claude, you don't need to leave the platform to scrape LinkedIn, TikTok, Instagram, even Google Maps, Apollo and, and a lot of more tools and I'm just going to show you in this video how you can do stuff like you're seeing on my screen where I just ask Claude to give me top 5 most engaged LinkedIn posts about the, the new ChatGPT agent launch um, and you can see that it gave me information about that. Uh, I even asked, for example, to scrape Ruben Asid last post on LinkedIn, and he did just that. You can see a link over here to uh, his post, uh, and just gave me like all the information about his post. And basically, Claude is connected to LinkedIn, and he can scrape basically anything that I want. And you can do this for LinkedIn, TikTok, Instagram, and a lot more platforms. And I'll show you in this video how you can do that, how you can make Claude do this, and uh, it's going to be via MCP and we're going to be connecting Claude uh, to Apify. Um, so if you don't know what Apify is, it's basically a marketplace with a lot of scrapers. And as you can see here, like a poll scraper, TikTok scraper, Instagram scraper. So, and, and through Apify, you can basically use these uh, scrapers, these actors to do these kind of jobs. And without like having multiple platforms and multiple tools, you can just do everything directly on Apify. Uh, if you don't know how to use Apify or how to find actors and find scrapers and use them, we have another video on our channel that we talk about how to, to set it up. Um, so I'll leave the link um, somewhere in the description or in the comments. Uh, so just have a look at that if you don't know what it is. But in this video, I'll show you how you can connect your account and Abify, which by the way, I do believe that uh, they offer $5 to start to test, which is more than enough to, to test and do a lot of interesting things on Claude. Um, just double check. I know that, that they were offering $5. I'm not sure if they are anymore at the time of this video. Just have a look. Uh, but basically, I'll show you how you can connect Abify uh, MCP uh, through MCP to Claude. So then you can literally just do stuff like this where you ask to scrape someone's posts, uh, you ask what are the top five, I don't know, people talking about a certain subject on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram, and you just, you just do that. Um, so how are we going to do this? First of all, uh, the first thing you need to know about is that we're going to need a uh, Claude uh, paid account, so uh, unfortunately, free accounts on on Claude does they, not allow does not allow you to connect MCPs. So we're going to need a paid account on Claude, and you're going to need an Apify account. As I mentioned, again, this is based like you can just put you know kind of credits on it. Um, I think they offer five dollars. Double check, um, but I think if they do, it's more than enough for you to test. And um, we're going to need, as you can see here. Claude desktop. In this particular case, we're going to be installing uh, Apify via MCP, but locally on the on, on desktop. Um, and, and again, there are, we have like, I have make.com and other tools directly connected via MCP through the connectors on the browser, on Claude browser. I just uh, feel like on Apify, that is a lot easier and better to do it not easier, but better to do it through the through uh, the desktop to like locally, uh, just because I can control locally. If I do this, uh, as I'm going to show you in this video, you can control what agents um, it can use. Where I found out when I was doing this via the browser that I didn't really have control uh, on spend and like, what actors it was using. Maybe maybe it was something that I did, but I just prefer to do it locally, and I can control which actors I want uh, Claude to have access to. So, first things you're going to do, you're going to go to uh, Claude, okay? And you're going to go to uh, the settings over here, okay? And then in here, you go to developer, okay? And in here, there'll be nothing here if you uh, never uh, did this before. And you're going to click here, edit config. And you see that you're gonna, this is going to show up and this little um, JSON file will pop up. And this is where we're going to connect Abify to your cloth and also where we're going to you know, choose the actors, so the scrapers we want uh, Claude to have access to directly. Um, so you can open this um, you know, via, I was just going to open via text edit, but you can, you know, use Visual Code Studio, uh, Sublime, you know, whatever you use. If you don't have anything like uh, you know, to, to look at code, just use the text edit uh, or the notepad, I think, on Windows. And you're going to get something like this, okay? Now, this is, in your case, it will be empty. 
uh, okay so you just need to you can copy these um, our, our, our you can also find it on on ap um, and I also gonna yeah, I can leave this this, this somewhere uh, but otherwise just take a screenshot uh, of this but basically you just need to copy and paste this here and then save it and then just restart your cloud uh, desktop and you're gonna have access to um, ab in this particular case you can see a couple of different things first of all here is the ab token you need to put your ab token I just remove my token for the purpose of this video uh, but you need the token here for that you just need to go um, here on ab if you go to your settings over here um, you'll see that you're going to go to API and integrations and you're just going to create a new token okay and you're going to use this API token to put it here on the text edit okay and then you're just going to save it now the second thing you're going to do as you can see here I'm actually choosing the actors that I want ab to have access to and what that means if you don't know what an actor is so if I go here to ab store you can see that it has tons of scrapers Apollo, TikTok scraper, Instagram scraper, Google Maps scraper so uh, let's say that and, and again if you don't know um, more in detail you can check our other video but let's say that I want this Google Maps scraper okay and I want to I want to Claude to be able to scrape Google Maps when I want so what you're going to do is you can see this little thing over here this little ID this is what we're going to put on the text file so you just copy okay here and then in my text file you can see that all of these are act so you have I have a Twitter scraper I have a LinkedIn job scrapers an Indeed scraper etc 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 okay and what I'm going to do is I, I literally uh, I, I just added this one actually um, I literally just you know do a comma and just paste this here um, and you'll see that actually uh, and then you know and that's it so you see that the full thing over here and my actors are split by commas so I just added the new one in here so if I save this now and I refresh my Claude it will show up there and I can even ask Claude then to just you know scrape um, Google Maps and it will it will be able to do that now let me just show you an example here um, so you know what I'm talking about so here is the cloud that I just that I just show you right which is basically uh, just scraping a LinkedIn and you can see here if I go to my tools you can see that I have a, I, this is going to show up to you as well actors MCP server and you can see that it, again you can use this to search just ask Claude to search for an actor that can scrape what you want but I prefer to have my own that I can control and you see that I can basically enable or disable them I have the Twitter scraper the LinkedIn job scraper and you can see that and when you're gonna when you do what I just did on the text file okay and you save then just close Claude and open it again and it will show up here uh, and then you can literally just talk with Claude you know if I ask Claude to uh, you know um, I don't know scrape uh, top five restaurants in um, you know in London uh, and then if I if I just click enter you're gonna use ap let me just uh, do this uh, without I, I don't think I saved otherwise I don't have my API token there um, so let's just see if this will will work um, but basically now your code has access to ap so it's just gonna it's just gonna use you see it's already connecting to ap and they're gonna ask me if I allow uh, ap to scrape and I really like to just say allow once so it always asks me for permission and uh, so I just gonna say yes and now you're gonna uh, scrape using ap and the cool stuff about it is if you guys come here to runs you guys are gonna see that is is running you see so this is pretty cool and you can control all the runs and how much you are spending and, and everything in here and you can see that the, the, the crawler is, is running now it's finishing and uh, if I go to Claude it will it will give me the answer like the top five restaurants in London via the Google Maps scraper which is pretty pretty cool so and you can imagine all the kind of things you can do just on Claude you don't need to leave Claude to scrape you know to get data from LinkedIn like you can ask for the top five posts about a subject and then ask Claude based on those posts to create a post for you um, so possibilities are endless uh, and 
the really interesting thing is connect this via MCP. So you see that I had a problem with my network. Sometimes this happens, so you just need to retry again. Okay, so as I just mentioned, uh, the problem with the scraping, you can see that now it's scraped top five restaurants in London. The problem was the AP5 token was not on my JSON file because I deleted it to show it to you guys. So I just copied again my, my AP5 API on the JSON file and it's working. So that was the, the, the only issue. And you can see, it just got me top five restaurants in London uh, with all the information directly from Google Maps, uh, which is amazing. So um, yeah, uh, again, uh, it's not that hard to implement. Uh, you just need to do it via the Google desktop version. Uh, go to Claude, go to your settings, developer settings, and then just add that JSON file, add that code uh, in there, put your API token, choose the actors you want. And again, uh, the actors, for the actors, just go uh, any actor here on the on the AP5 store. You just need this little thing, this little code over here, and copy and paste there, and it will. And then refresh Claude desktop, and you're gonna have access to the scraper. And then again, you just need to ask uh, Claude, as you can see here. I just asked top five restaurants in London, and you can see that he asked me to scrape using the Google Maps scraping and just gave me all the information. So hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments if you have, uh, if you managed to do it, uh, what kind of use cases uh, would you use or are you using this for? And you also, if you have any troubles setting this up, just uh, leave a comment and we will try to help you. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.